Here's what I'll be using to create my own press on nails. We have some fake nails, some nail foil, just as decorative. I have a couple of here. Um, I have the nail foil glue gel. We have a display for the nails. We have some different gel polish, top coat, decorative nail polish, a silicone nail tool, a nail buffer, and yeah, and of course we have the gel lamp. So you guys, I got everything on Amazon. I'll be putting everything in the description box. I got this set of 100 fake coffin nails um, from Amazon for a good price. So all I'm going to do is fit these to my nails. Even though I already have on fake nails, this is not a problem. I just... Uh, put the nail, the fake nail, on top of this nail um, and just determine which one is the better fit, okay? So as you can see there, I placed putty on the actual display. Um, that's that way the nail can adhere to the stand itself. So these are all the nails here Next up what I'm going to do is lightly buff the nails and the reason why you want to do this is because the nails are shiny and buffing it adds some, adds some texture that allows the uh, Gel nail polish to basically stick to the nail itself um, And then what I like to do is shape up the nails a little bit like sometimes when you buy fake nails There's a little bit at the tip that's hanging off and so I do that um, just filing it some at the top there. So yeah, you guys, very, very simple in my opinion. This will take me about between 30 and 40 minutes to do, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> So I decided on this foil. It's a cute spring slash summer flower, but I had some issues, which you'll see here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything out and prepare it. This is the foil glue. Um, these are the uh, gel nail polishes by Beatles. Um, again, I'm using like a pink and a... Oh, girl, let's not get too technical. So this is the pink, and then I do like a mauve brown uh, just to give it a different look. Okay, so I'm going to paint all of them but the index finger this pink. And what I do, you guys, is once I'm done painting it, I put it on, under the gel, gel lamp for about 40 seconds. And then I apply a second coat, put it on the gel lamp for another 30 seconds, then I apply the top coat. So yeah, it could be a lengthy process, but all together, like I stated, it only takes me about 30 minutes. Now I like to decorate at least one or two of the nails in addition to adding the foil, okay? Okay, so for the index finger, I decided to paint half of it a different color. And then I'm going to take this glitter uh, nail polish and decorated it a little bit more. Got kind of messy here, but the good thing about nails, girl, people don't really be all up on your nails. They just, oh, those are cute, and they move on. So they really can't see the imperfection. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and place this under the gel lamp, too. Um, in the gel, you guys, all that does is to help cure the nail polish itself. Okay, excuse me, the, the gel lamp. All right, 
girl so we're gonna try this foil y'all using foil can be a bit tricky so what you have to do first is apply the nail glue you cure that between 30 to 40 seconds and then you have to be very quick with it because you have to apply the foil on carefully rub it on rip that sucker off like a band-aid but I have problems with the applicator when it comes to foil that has a background like this when you see how this one has the white background I have problems with this so what you do is you use a silicone pen or your fingers or here I'm trying to get aggressive and rip it off but watch what happens yeah not good so we're going to try that again using one that doesn't have a background just finding like a little angel and applying it on again use a foil glue apply it on rub it into the nail and rip it off and that's going to be a lot better So now I'm going to add a top coat and once I'm done with that, I'll allow it to cure for another 40 seconds. And that's it you guys, it's very very simple. Now I do have a separate video on how I actually apply the fake nails. As you can tell, these are fairly long. So yes, I probably could have cut these down before actually decorating them and painting them, but that's okay. <music> So this is what the finished set looks like. I can notice the imperfections, but I like them. They're cute and summery. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, make sure you check out the description box for everything I've used in this video. Take care. Bye.